Hey guys, I got a quick tip for you, um, and it's about using a leader. A real field expedient way to make a leader if you're pike or muskie fishing, or if you're bass fishing up north in the northern tier of the United States where northern pike are really common, man, you can burn through a ton of tackle and it's a real pain in the butt. And the material I like to use is Terminator Tieable Titanium. This is just a single strand Tieable Titanium. It's super easy to tie in the boat. I don't need a lot of terminal tackle. And I'm gonna show you how I make the connection to my main line. Just take a length that you think is necessary. I'm gonna start out with a chunk like this for demonstration purposes, but that's not a bad leader length. I just use my pliers there. It cuts plenty easy once you actually kink it. Now what I'm gonna do is just follow the instructions on the back of the package. I'm gonna take it and bend a portion of it back onto itself. And then I'm gonna take a pliers and I'm just gonna pinch it. And I'll show you what that looks like for the camera. That's it, I've just made a right angle. I've pinched it tight. And that's the shank that I'm gonna wrap my main line around. This could be fluorocarbon monofilament, or in this case, I got a high-vis braid so you can just see what I'm going to do with my hands. All I'm gonna do is go through that little crimp, pull out a little bit of extra, and I'm gonna start twisting it up the length of that crimp. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If I was fishing a real heavy gauge fluorocarbon, I might go less. And then now, I, now that I've wrapped it up that wire, I'm just gonna run it back out that same hole, or the, the beginning of the wire. And you'll see now, I'm just tightening, tightening that down, tightening that down. I mean, literally, that's it. Simple Albright knot, it's a piece of cake to tie in the boat. This is pretty much a fail-proof section of your line the entire day, so assuming, you know, your main line's not getting all cut up up here, you can count on that knot to hold you. That tag end, all I'll do is just cut that tight. Really elegant. That's it. Now I have a piece of leader tied on and oftentimes if I don't need to run a swivel, I won't. I just think this is a more elegant presentation. If the lure doesn't twist up my, my line, there's no need to run a, run a swivel. Okay, now that we've made our line to line knot, the last step is just tying off to a lure. And like I said, you can use a snap if you want some more freedom of movement um, down here, or if you're gonna be switching out baits a lot, just throw a little snap on the end. I have a little whopper plopper size 90 here, and I'm just gonna show you the clinch knot I use to tie it up in the field, and it's a piece of cake. Go right through the eye. I'm just gonna go back onto itself, and I'm just gonna wrap it around the main line. And I only go like three times with this material. The back of the bag says more, but literally, if I go one, two, three, and then back through that eye, Notice that, that's it. That's all I need. Now the trick here is grab your pliers, grab that tag end with the pliers, grab the main, the main part of the leader and just pull tight. Hear that noise? That means that that material is pulled tight onto itself. It actually stretches a little bit. So I pull it tight until I actually feel a little bit of give in that material and that means it's cinched down onto itself. And now I'm just gonna cut off that tag end. You can even use a good scissors in the boat, but players is a little easier, so. We've caught tons of muskies on this stuff. We, we tie, tie quick strike rigs for muskie fishing. It doesn't slip, it doesn't slide. It's not gonna cinch down tight like what you're used to with monofilament braid or fluorocarbon with like a clinch or a trilene knot, but it's not gonna slide, I guarantee it. If you tie it like that, pull it tight on both ends until you feel that stretch. You got a bulletproof system right there that you're gonna be able to fish all day long. And notice that it does seat down really tight when you tie direct to the eye of a lure. You know, that's great with a jig or a hollow body frog or something like that, but you can see if you're fishing a crankbait or a jerkbait, you're gonna want a little snap on there or a split ring at least just to allow more freedom of movement on the lure end. But that right there 
is gonna save you a lot of money and a lot of grief in certain environments.